All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Space Taxi mod, which is being made by form user Teak Dreaming. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun little capsule slash self-contained miniature spacecraft, honestly, which is quite useful for ferrying your Kerbals around in orbit. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what this does add. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake and then head down to our janitor's closet mod filter, leaving on just space taxi. And you'll find a both of the parts for this mod as it is a, a pretty small little mod we're looking at here today, both in the command pod category, which is a little bit awkward for one of the parts because it is a docking node, so Technically shouldn't be here, but oh well, it works. And uh, so yeah, we'll start with this, the two Kerbal Space Taxi Docking Node. And as you can see, it's a pretty basic and simple docking node, just a little ring with a couple of prongs going off the sides, but all in all, a useful little docking node, though quite small as you can see here. So you're not really gonna be attaching anything large to it, but that's because of course, it's built for this thing, the Two Kerbal Space Taxi, which just pops right on there and is a very interesting sort of old school vintage looking design that I actually really, really enjoy. And uh, as for the stats on this thing, it can hold up to two Kerbals, but has at least a requirement for one to operate, has a built-in data transmitter, its own lights, which are surprisingly powerful for a little thing like this, built-in RCS, reaction wheel, a crew report, electric charge of just 10, and mono propellant of 10.8. So not a whole lot on this thing. So it's not going to be an endurance vessel lasting for extended periods of time. But you know what? For going from a ship to a space station or ship to ship, ferrying your Kerbals, it works pretty nicely. Or actually how I've been using it recently, as an escape pod. If something goes horribly wrong, shove a couple Kerbals in there, release it, and wait for pickup. That's uh, been very amusing to me. I really love this thing as that escape pod purpose. But all in all, a very cool design on here. I like its simplicity. Now it does have an internal view, which is a little bit squishy, and you'll See that in a moment when we go out into the world. And as you can see here, it has the RCS engines in three spots on either side, along with the monopropellant tanks and these little bits, which are the surprisingly powerful lights. There we go. As you can see, all of them uh, shining down there, and they are in the sort of red and green color. Very interesting. Now, you can, of course, adjust that here if you so desire. And all in all, a just just nice little self-contained little ship, frankly, and I've been definitely enjoying my time with it. Now that's really all we can look at in here, so let's go and uh, jump out into the world where I built a ship earlier, and actually a ship I have been using. This wasn't just my usual thing of throwing together something in five minutes or so. I've actually been making this ship recently and kind of making like a, a shuttle between the planetary orbit here and the moon, and I thought, hey, maybe use it to attach some escape pods to. And there we go, a fun little ship with nuclear-powered engines and enough escape pods to get all of the Kerbals on board to safety, and then some. And all in all, it's, uh, it's a fun little design. And again, I love these little escape pods, or well, space taxis. And if I didn't want to use them as an escape pod, once we actually got to wherever we were wanting to go, we could, of course, you know, release one of these to ferry some personnel, etc., to the station or another ship, what have you. But all in all, a uh, fun little design. Now let's actually take a look at it when you've actually launched. So if we go to this one has Kerbals. Now I forgot to add the docking node to a uh, an action group, so I've actually kind of got to squeeze in here to get to that little docking node there and decouple. There we are. My suggestion, because of how small that docking node is, definitely 
definitely add it to an action group. But let's uh, just switch on over to this little guy here. And as you can see, just, you know, we're floating freely. Let's turn on our lights. There we go, which we are apparently illuminating the planet over there. Very nice. And uh, like I said, unusually powerful. <laughs> now, as for the interior on this thing, we can uh, pop out that. And as you can see, a little squishy for the Kerbals. That's, um... A little bit awkward in there, but of course, if you just do go into the EVA view, all looks perfectly fine and normal, and I actually really like this view for piloting with RCS. And, uh, yeah, just a little bit strange with the exterior view. It's a little... a little bit awkward. But we do have the full control of these RCS engines here to do as we please. And I can, of course, even uh, switch over to docking node there and start making our way back to the ship. And if we wanted, we could dock because, well, we do have the docking node. But, of course, <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do that on that this video because it'll take me about an hour because I'm awful at docking. I'm just so slow. But yes, that is the Space Taxi mod. A fun, simple little part that gives you a lovely self-contained vessel for ferrying Kerbals around, or as I like to use it, as an escape pod. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!